Today's big day, boys. Making the exhaust on the right-hand drive Turbo E36. Really hyped. Damn it. Justin. <laughs> Ready for some uh, exhaust work? Some exhausting exhaust work? Absolutely. A lot of welding. A lot of welding. A lot of welding. Oh, here comes the challenge, boys. Getting a downpipe through all this nonsense. All right, so if you guys don't know what's going on, we have a right-hand drive E36 with a S50 turbo in it, and we're making the downpipe for it, which is going to be kind of a pain in the ass because there's a lot of stuff we got to move around. So we were all a little concerned at first about having to, like, using some oval tubing or, like, splitting the tube or whatever. Uh, we quickly realized that we could actually fit a full three-inch tube between the manifold and the frame rail. We just have to get a little fancy with it. Yeah, we have all that stuff on the bench, so. Show them the goodies? Yeah, show them the goodies. Oh, you cleaned up for me. <laughs> this place was such a mess from doing these motor mount inserts. It just oh shoots my. aluminum oh. everywhere. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. These are all pre-made pie cuts, right? Yeah. All laser cut. Ooh. Shout out Stainless Bros. Shout out Stainless Bros. So this is sick. So this is going to be my new downpipe. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we're going to take these 10 and we're going to make a 90 degree elbow. Okay. And that 90 degree elbow will allow us to kind of get it up inside the car and figure out what's going on and where we need to move things and put things and whatever else. So Perfect. We'll get that done first. Glue them together. And what's nice about these guys is there is this little line right here. And you can just line them up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So you don't have to guess. <laughs> nope, you don't have to guess. You just line them up and you're good. So you guys, you guys could tell I have my stock steering shaft in. I ordered the high clearance one. It's not in yet, but we can we can work without it for now. All right, so this thing is actually giving us a hard time. So to give us some more room, we're just gonna basically lop the whole center section out. I got a new one coming in the mail that's like a super slim one from Siki, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, so Justin made up another 90 real quick and tacked it together and uh, I mean, it looks pretty legit. All right, this angle is kind of annoying to see, but you see it comes up through there and goes down into the engine bay, goes around our little Bluetooth steering shaft and comes down. And then this, all we have to do is get this to come here. So that's, that's no issue at all. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it'll work out. Huh, it's a lot of pie cuts. All right, now you can really see the fitment. Oh, that's beautiful. So we got plenty of room between the block, the steering shaft, frame, and manifold. It can be touching the manifold, even though we're going to get a little bit of room. But since it moves with the manifold, it's not a big deal. Yeah, not a huge deal at all. All right, so we're cheating just a little bit. We got pretty lucky uh, with the turbo setup I bought. It actually came with a pretty nice custom downpipe already. But of course, it was for a left hand drive car. But we were actually able to utilize a good portion of it. Basically, basically the whole portion that goes around the strut tower. So this saves us quite a bit of time. Yeah, I'm actually happy that this V-band is here because these V-bands for these precision turbos are ridiculously hard to find. Yeah, save us some money too, huh? Yeah, money and time. <laughs> so this one actually fits pretty good. So we're going to try and utilize as much of this as we can. But as you can see, it doesn't really line up with what we got. So thinking we cut a couple pies off here, add a few more, and we can bring it all together. All right, so that random cut, um, yeah, it's wow, weird. we got a, right I want to call it luck, but I, I know you had this plan. No, it's not luck. <laughs> That's why you see me sitting and staring at things for an hour at a time. Everybody's like, come on, get to work. And I'm like, no, let me look at it for a minute. This is wisdom, boys. We'll figure it out. This is a man. Of, look, see those, those beard hairs right there, those grays? He earned those. Yes. Every one of them. <laughs> oh, my God, that's actually really awesome. It flows so nicely. Mm -hmm. the, the amount of pie cuts on this thing is crazy. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> oh my God, look at this thing. <laughs> going to be a snake. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a slinky. You're just on like, yeah. you just dropped on the ground. It's pretty wild. Oh, it's so cool. Yo, you ready to weld for the next five hours? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
get the tunes going. My, it's my zen. It's your zen. Ooh. Okay. I like it. Dude, that's hilarious. That's why. That's gonna go. I'm gonna weld this up first, then we'll weld it to this one, and then we'll snake it back in and see what it looks like. And then weld some more to it. Yep. All right, so explain this real quick before you uh, get to it. Oh, yeah, the back purging thing. Everybody gets so like, what is that? Well, basically what we do is we put argon gas in the end here, fills the pipe, and it displaces the oxygen right out of this hole, which this is nice little TIG Aesthetics and Tycon Industries got together and made these little silicone plugs for everything. So you stick that in there, it displaces all the oxygen, and then the welds on the inside will look just as nice as the welds on the outside. It's what's on the inside that counts. It is actually, because <laughs> with heat cycles and a downpipe and a turbo car, this is gonna get super hot and we want it to weld all the way through so it doesn't crack. So uh, I'll see you in like three hours? Yeah, <laughs> all hopefully. Right. So it's been a few hours. I left Justin to weld it all up and take some time to unwind because being that concentrated for that long, doing anything can kick your ass. And I know he was probably welding for literally two hours straight. How you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? The steering shaft is gonna be a lot smaller, right? Not the steering shaft is gonna be a lot smaller, yeah. Is it kind of close? It's close. Oh, you got it in there? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at all the, look at all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that looks so sick. Cause like once you put the welds on, it just looks so fluent. Oh yeah, it looks way better than it did before. How was it getting it in there as one piece? Um, you're not gonna be able to do it once everything is tightened down. Yeah. I had to move the brake booster out of the way. What, really? Yeah, move the booster out of the way and then it can come down through the top. It was loose, wasn't it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, so. You definitely can't come in through the bottom or through the top if everything is tight. So it's gonna be interesting and once there's more of this on there, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna come back out. I was expecting some compromise on this, so I'm not too worried about it. If all I have to do is jack up one side of the engine, not bad. Because realistically, if I'm pulling off the downpipe, that means I'm probably gonna pull the engine anyways. Yeah, I was gonna say, how often are you gonna be pulling your downpipe on and off? Yeah, I mean? exactly. So, well, there it is, boys. That's how you fit a three-inch pipe on a right-hand drive car with a left-hand drive manifold. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> But it works. And I feel like I should, I forgot to state this before. This is an ODX manifold. This is kind of like an eBay manifold. Uh, most left hand drive uh, turbo cars, turbo E36s, use this exact style manifold. And uh, look at that. Justin made it work. Yeah, just, just a couple more pies. Just a few more. You got a sweet tooth there, Justin, or what? Yep. <laughs> We put that on there and then we throw a V band on it. And then we can. So that's the V band right there. Yep, that'll. Can we right to it? That'll, yeah, that'll signify the end of the downpipe. That's it. Yeah, no, it's probably good to have as little downpipe as possible just because it's so hard to fit in the car. Yeah, exactly. Because if you make any more length on it, you're not gonna, even with raising the engine up, you're not gonna be able to get it. Yeah, it's just car. way too crazy. What do you think, B? Wow. <laughs> Dude, um, for a thing that a lot of people said couldn't be done, it's there. We didn't say you couldn't do it, Justin. Just, <laughs> you know, it looks like a damn square peg in a round hole. Nobody's <laughs> looking at the hole right. No one was looking at the hole right. Some random kid in Australia was, thanks to that guy. <laughs> Props yep. to you, guy. And then there we go, that's pretty gangster. So Justin just finished welding up the tail end of it, which we're probably gonna have to weld. Oh, it's out of focus. 
which we're probably gonna have to weld in out of the car because if we put it in now it's gonna be a bitch to get out yeah yeah we're gonna have to definitely do that but as you say in a lot of your videos all we got to do is yeah oh my god yeah watch every which direction oh you got that, this you got a technique down okay oh, 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 oh the, oh, the paint Justin is scratching it I'm painting it <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was saying it ain't going back in once it's got the V-band on. Right, so uh, uh, downpipe first, then brake booster. <laughs> yeah, it's breaching though. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh! Did you I hear did. that? It was like Esau boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we can finally look at it. Look at it! Look how cool this thing is. All right, Justin went OD. Look at this, dude. There's <laughs> just so much going on. <laughs> it's very busy. It is very busy. But look at this piece of art. The final piece. The final piece. It'll be capped off. Oh, that that just completes it. That last little oh, turn. Oh yeah, it does. When you put it in there, that now, looks it like it belongs on a, a, a Porsche. Okay. You know what I mean? Rear engine, like. <laughs> it I looks don't know that. about this. <laughs> yeah, so the V-band is kind of thick, so will that even fit between the survey says? Oh, oh, V-band fits kind of. It's definitely making things a little bit more difficult. Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe if we pull the master off. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. First step in installing the downpipe. Pull the brake booster. You think it's gonna go? Well, we'll find out. No steering shaft, no brake booster. Should be good to go. Oh, is that the ticket? Oh! That's it. That's it. All you gotta do is yank your brake booster. You know, common procedure. Ah, uh, there we go. And now we can actually get a good view on this thing. I wish I did it earlier. I'm hitting. Oh my god. <laughs> everything, Justin. You're hitting everything. <laughs> yes. Making sure she still fits, because things like the move. Yeah, it looks amazing. So obviously the steering shaft, uh, I ordered the high clearance one. It's way slimmer, so we'll have no issues there. Um, besides that, it comes out honestly in the best location possible. So I'm extremely happy. It looks amazing, it fits amazing, and um, it's got the more fab touch, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's good. We still got some adjustment too. There you go, guys. That's how, uh, that's how you make a right-hand drive turbo BMW downpipe in the most ridiculous artistic form ever. <laughs> I just want you guys to realize, like, Justin did the pie cuts, one, because he had them. Yeah. And two, because he's crazy like that and likes to do cool stuff. Yeah, um, I mean, even if you just use, like, 90-degree bends, one or two pie cuts probably would have got you what you needed, but I wanted this one to be, like, completely just fitting. Oh, yeah. You know, and it came out amazing. So just, I don't want anyone to feel deterred. This is definitely possible. I know when I was looking up stuff, even last year, I couldn't find any information on this. So I hope this video helped a lot of guys out. And I uh, just want to let you know, buy yourself an eBay manifold and you can make a fit. And then from here, we could just do a typical uh, BMW cap pack, right? Yeah, yeah, just do a three inch cap pack and it'll be mint. And we got all the goodies over there for tomorrow. Yeah. Very hyped. And before we do end this video, I want to show one thing. This is a piece of three inch oval tubing that everyone was suggesting. I mean, it makes sense. When you think of a tight area, you think of oval tubing, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's the yeah. go-to consensus. Yeah. It's nice because it's slim, so if you have a low car, it helps clear the ground. But in other situations like this, especially with this bend, it just seems way over dramatic. So the downpipe's in now, so it's kind of hard to talk about. But if you see, three-inch oval tubing is still a big, bulky bitch in itself. I mean, it's not like it really gives us much better fitment overall. And you can't really twist this in the way that you can just twist pie cuts. Right, because if, you know what? Come on from underneath this thing so we don't kill ourselves. You would not only have to bend the stuff this way, but you would have to bend it that way. Exactly. Well. So, so you'd have multiple compound bends in oval tubing, and then on top of that, you'd have to twist it like that. It'd be a twizzler. So it's just not <laughs> happening. It's not going to work. Oval tubing would not do it. So you guys heard me ramble out about this downpipe enough. Uh, it's done. It's complete. It looks sick. Just an amazing job. Super excited. And then tomorrow. We'll be finishing up the rest of the exhaust. I know that'll come out just as amazing. So we're going to end it here. Of course, guys, it's possible. If you have a right-hand drive car, because I know a lot of you guys that watch these videos are from overseas, make it happen. You got this. And, of course, huge shout to Justin. Thank Justin, thank you so much. You are welcome. Absolutely killed it. And, of course, guys, Justin has a channel. If, if you guys don't know, I'll link in the description. Check it out. He does a lot of stuff like this on there. And um, some tips and tricks with some welding can learn to be like that, right? 
<laughs> so with that, we're going to end it here. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you tomorrow.